Wow, that like really you, was like, like a Like you planned trick. it. <laughs> I was like, when, no they, kidding. when you handed me those six cards, like, are you serious? <laughs> Welcome to iHeartBoard Games. My name is Jesse. I'm Melissa. And today we're going to play a little game from Dr. Finn called Cosmic Run Express. This is a lot of game and a little package, all about space travel, reaching these planets in a race. Let's get to the table. Okay, so the goal of this game is to reach all three planets. How do you do that? Well, we'll be taking steps. Scoring is another word for it going from zero all the way to 12. Once you've reached 12, this planet is taken care of, you have reached that planet. First person to do so wins the game. The way you do that, so there's actually three ways of doing it. Every time you play a card in front of a planet, you check the little icon above it, and that will spin it once. That's during play. After each player has two cards in front of a planet, like so, we're going to be challenging each other's hands for the best hand. And it really plays kind of like poker in a way. It all works out. Stay tuned for the full play and that's how I'll show you there. So each round we're gonna begin with six cards each. Six cards for you. Six cards for me. Now there are four cards left over. That's important because we can actually use those. I'll just put those off camera a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is pass two cards to another player. Next thing we're going to do, if we want to, we can discard a card and draw another card. During the round, we play at the same time. We're gonna say three, two, one, place. And we're gonna place it either here, here, or here. Or for her, it's gonna be here, here, or here. There's all sorts of tiebreakers in this game. The way everything plays out, it's all pre-planned. It may seem like there's, it's not a big deal as to who goes first when it comes to turning this dial, but when it matters, you have a tiebreaker in place to take care of that. Are you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, place. I should also mention, normally you would sit across the table from someone, <laughs> but we have table constraints. It plays fine just like this. All right, so we both have our matching, yep. so we spin. And if it was critical, I could have spun first. There's also even uh, tiebreakers here on the planets that goes by uh, color order. So it's all figured out for you. Okay. Ready? No. <laughs> no. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one, place. Turn here. Here. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, place. That's green. And this is red. Yep. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Three, two, one, place. Spinning. Spinning. Now we're spinning cards in our hands because the arrows that are listed on here, which I'll tell you about in a second when it comes to scoring, point in different directions depending on which way you have it. Three, two, one, place. I do not spin it because mine does not match. And last card. Yep, three, two, one, place. So now we're gonna go over end of round scoring. There's two steps to this. First one, we're gonna match the hands at the planets. So planet one, I have a four and a four, which is the highest you can have. And she has a one and a three. If it came down to tiebreakers, if we both had a four and a four, we'd look to the planet, but we don't even need to worry about that. I get two spins because of it. Next up, I have a three and a three. You have a one and a two. Yours is sequential, but that doesn't beat a pair. Pairs, top of the line. Uh, the only thing that would beat it is a four and a four, but not there. So one, two. Okay. Next up, we have a one and two versus your four and a four. So Clearly, you win. You get to spin that. Spin, spin. All right. The next step in scoring is we look at the arrows. Each arrow can potentially turn up this thing <laughs> twice. Tracking cards. Ah, tracking cards. And spin a tracking card twice. First one's here. Is there a yellow card here? Yes, there is. It's one. So your yellow card the other way because this wraps around checking this other side. So I'm looking yes. if there's a yellow. Yes, there is. So it brings me to zero, which will flip to the six. Uh, let's go with your side. Okay, so I do have a red here. Mm -hmm. So that spins it once. 
And I do have a green here, so that spins it once. There we go. On to planet two. I'm checking the red to the right. Yeah, it's there. And blue to the left, of course. Mine have yellow. Mm hmm. And also yellow. Correct. So, two spins. If she had two yellow cards over there, yes, they were the, okay, okay, that's what I was That saying. could potentially spin the tracking card four times. Okay. Over here, we check the green for the wrap, yes. Mm -hmm. And blue for the wrap, yes. All right, I do have the green here, mm -hmm. the one spin, but of course they no blue here. Yeah, and even if you had spun that card it around the, other way. the green, it's not there work. anyway. So the current scores is six, five, three, and you're at three, four, five. So. A good way to track uh, scores is just to add them all together. You'd be at 12, I'd be at 14. So. Still close. Still close after the first. So we pick up all these so. cards, pick up the cards that didn't get used, and we shuffle them together and begin the next round. Pass the two. Yeah, you must pass two. <laughs> I just noticed you need yellow on all of these. So I'm not passing you yellow. I think I'll pass you these two. I'll discard. You ready? One moment, please. Yes, okay. Three, two, one, place. Okay. This turns over because it went to zero. Correct. Now two to the six. Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, place. This makes a zero, which turns to a six. Okay. Three, two, one, place. That's a spin. Not a spin. Does not match. Yep. It happens. Three, two, one. Oh no? You're not ready? Oh, I don't know. Recalculating. Wait, re, re. Recalculating. Recalculating. Three, two, one, place. Okay. That spins it. And this spins mine. Alright. Three, two, one, place. And finally, three, two, one, place. Oh, wait, oh, that doesn't matter either way. There's no blues. There's no blues, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, that's another round down. Let's go through the scoring. All right. So first off, over here, we each have a straight, but mine's the same colors. Order is same number, same number in sequence, then same color, then in sequence, and then high card. You would just have a sequence. That's two. One, two. Next up is over here. You have two fours. That's the clear winner. You spin it. You go to seven. Six and then two. Seven. Down here, looks like you have the clear winner there too. Eight. Nine. Oh my, how am I gonna catch up? Planet one, let's take a look at the arrows now. So I'm looking at red and green on the wrap and both of them are red and green. So that's two turns. One, two. See, your first ship's doing much better than mine. True, but your last ship's doing way better than mine. Yeah. But I think that's going to change here in a second. Yellow arrow, yes, so that's one spin. Mm -hmm. Blue, nothing, because I don't have blue cards. No, you don't. Let's go to the middle. My arrow is true, and this arrow is true, so that's two spins. My green is on here, so it can't possibly go that way. Nope. But my red is over here, so that is a spin. Now, did that four have a green on the other side as well? Because it... It had blue. blue. I have no blue cards. Wait, that could have been true if you had spun it. Oh, it would have been. But I didn't bah, plan. Yeah. Bah. I didn't plan that appropriately. Moving on over here. I have two yellows over here. So I have one yellow that points at two. So that's six, seven. Mm -hmm. And I have another yellow that points over here. Oh. Eight, nine. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, you're catching on up. Well, yeah. I do have a blue card, but it's way right that away. Well, that's not the right way. Did you do it the right way? Oh, you made a mis another mistake. You're oh, supposed to spin it. I know. All right. What's next? But there is a green. But so that is true. Yeah. Okay. 
So that goes in. Wow, you robbed yourself of two robbed points. Myself. You gotta pay attention, kids. Yep. So that's where we are now oh. is 11, 8, 9, and she's at 4, 8, 10. So kind of, I, I caught up quite a bit on this one, but before. Mm -hmm. uh, that whole turn, I was just trying to make that two yellow catch up on the three, and it worked. Yeah, and, and making those mistakes like I did, that, that cost me a lot. That cost me. Whenever you're playing a racing game, one. every little mistake matters. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what kind of hand I've been dealt. I got your two right here. Discard this card. Try something else. Okay. I'm going to keep my hand. Right? Got it. Do you? Mm -hmm. You got it. I got something. Three, two, one, place. So that brings me home. This one's done. So we're just going to tuck this underneath. But I'm still going to play it out. Well, you have to put a card oh, in there. Oh, sure. I still don't want you to spin yours, so I still got to beat you. I'm starting to rethink everything. <sighs> Three, two, one, place. Ah, so you're going to get to spin it twice. That's okay. In three, two, one, place. That's a spin already. Spin for me too. Three, two, one, place. That's a spin. Here we go. Three, two, one, place. Your spins. spins. Ooh, are you going to take it home? Three, two, one, place. Ooh, take you it took on. it home. Take it on home. So before we go ahead and tuck it. So before we score, we each have reached home planets. You've reached three, I've reached one. But the current score is 10 9, 10 9 6. So we'll still ahead a little bit. But here we go. Let's score this. You've won that one. So you get to spin it twice. 7 8. Yep. Next up, scoring hands over here. You've won that one too. Uh oh. Spin it twice. 10, 11, and then you win Next that. Next up? Well, no, I'm You win that, so you oh. prevent me from spinning oh, twice. Spin. Oh. That's pretty good. Next up, we look at arrows. I'm not, I don't have to look at arrows here. I have nothing to spin. How about you? I have blue here. You do have it. Green here. You do have it. 10, 11. Winners never cheat, and cheaters do 200 push up. Hit the floor, Jack. Wow. I've fallen behind all of a sudden. Well, that ship was sputtering. It's true. <laughs> but if I can manage to win here, like win the game, yeah. before the round ends, Ooh. no, I clearly can't. But let's go ahead and go through it. So I put my blues here. I shouldn't have. I should have put. I should have shifted everything over, but I didn't. My arrows, each of them are pointing to two blues, so that's a spin of four each. I mean, two each. One two and one two but I've reached the planet so what's your arrows mine's yellow to here that's red that, to here your home so. oh. all right so I uh, let's go over here <laughs> let's not forget about my planet here <laughs> I was about to say I'm in trouble and I still can be I still am <laughs> but let's go um, Oh gosh. I have red and I have green, so yeah. that'll be spin here so, and spin here. Oh, we're here. both at one planet eleven. Now here's why I'm in trouble: is because planet one gets resolved first. Oh. So all she needs to win this game is a red card for next round. The odds of her getting a red card are good, although I will say at the beginning of this round I had all four red cards. I passed wow. you like two. Two, yeah, because I had so many. And there has been a practice game we played where I needed yellow card and I... It played out exactly like this. Yeah. To where you needed a certain card. And I got one. And you got it. One. But just yeah, I had, one. It was a yellow card. Mm -hmm. I had three yellows in my hand. I was like, I was anxious to draw fast and try to get that fourth yellow, but it turns out she already had it in her hand. One. Well, this should play out just like that other game. I think you're going to get a red card. I think you'll be just fine. But let's see how it plays out anyway. Here we go. All right. Doom. 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 I'll add the sound effects in there. 
<laughs> That's six. If you have a red in there, you're gonna win this. If not... Okay, you got a red in there, because I have none! I told. So, okay, as we know, the math in this game works out. There's four cards left in this thing. If she is right about that, she does not have any red. I don't have any red. All four of those are red, so all you have to do is draw. I would love to just flip this deck over right now and show everyone that these are reds. Because that's kind of like a magic trick, right? <laughs> what we've just done. Because I have no reds. You have no reds. So you're like, oh, you're for sure going to get a red. And then I looked at like, oh my goodness, I really did get a red. Magic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Well, I'm just going to pass you these two. Okay, and I will just pass you these two. Let me guess, you're going to want to discard a card. I am. I'm going to discard this card. Go for it. I'm going to pick up Draw your red. this card. Oh, I'm going to wow. discard this. And I'm going to... Whoa, a red. I thought I care. <laughs> All right. Let's say, probably for the last time. Three, two, one, play. So she's matched hers. She spins. She wins! And look at these remaining two cards. They really were yes, they all really the red were cards. All the red cards. That's what I drew. That is like a magician trick right there. <laughs> well, let's talk about what we thought about the game. I'm so close. Oh, what happened? It's okay. No, I think you. That was well deserved. Well deserved. Congratulations to you. That's fine. Um, yeah, in a race, there's a winner and there's a loser. I was a loser this time. No big deal. But very close. Very, very close. close. Very close. Very close in this space race game. Uh, I really like this game. It reminds me of other little two-player games like uh, Lost Cities. Lost Cities was the one that came to mind just because of the number counting. Mm -hmm. But uh, I love a game that's made for two players. Yeah, I really like how it's in. It's so compact and nice and just the, you know, the size. Yeah, this the size is a on-the-go game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easy to put in a purse, put in a... You know, pocket and just you know have it yeah. on the go. Leave the box at home, get a plastic bag that's the size of a card, and it all fits in there, just like that. Bring it with you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for visiting us over here at iHeart Board Games. You can check out more stuff here on YouTube. If you hit that subscribe button, we'll heart you for it. Twitch.tv slash heart board games. Leave the eye out of there. But go watch us play some games live. Come chat with us Monday, Wednesday, and Sundays. And uh, check out some videos over here on the left over there. There they are. <laughs>